In this video, I'm going to show you 10 apps to help you organize everything in your life. From the movies you want to watch, your grocery list, organizing colors for different brands if you're a graphic designer, saving those links and videos you'd like to view later, keeping track of your smart home codes, and even a note and task apps just for good measure. Let's jump into it. Let's start off with the fun stuff like the Sofa app. This app keeps track of all the books you want to read, games to play, and movies to watch. You can go over to the movies you want to watch, click the plus button, and add any kind of movie you're hoping to see. Maybe I want to add Star Trek Into Darkness to my list, and now you'll see it's under the movies I want to watch. If I tap the movie, it'll give me a little synopsis, and I can scroll down and actually see where I can stream this movie right now. Once you've watched the movie, you can tap Log to Activity. Once you've logged a movie or book to the Activity section, you can go back and see a history of everything you've watched, read, and played. And there's even a Mac app where you can keep track of everything here. I actually have a focus mode that enables every weekend, which turns off most notifications, and it actually sets a home screen where there's a Sofa app widget right there at the top, so any movies that I was planning to see, I can see right on my home screen. You can learn more about my focus mode setup at the video above. Number two, let's talk about saving links. Yes, if you use Safari on iPhone and Mac, you can use the reading list and save articles to read later, but there's more than just articles. Maybe it's a video, a document, or even an image you want to save for later. That's why I use an app called Anybox. Anybox, you can save any kind of link, whether it's a video, an article, or even a document. Here you'll see my most recently saved links and articles. You can see some information on what this link is. Tap the little arrow and it'll bring you right to that video, link, or document. You can even star certain pieces of content if you want to filter just by your favorites. And you'll see there's separate sections for links, notes, images, files, and a ton more. Plus you can add things to Anybox from pretty much any app. If I hit the share button here on YouTube and click more, you'll see the Anybox app is right here. And I can add this video or access this in Safari and many other apps. Plus you can use the Anybox app on your iPhone, Mac, iPad, all your Apple devices to save everything so you can get to them later. Number three, and this might not be very exciting for some of you, but a good grocery app is crucial, especially when you have a partner and kids. That's why I use AnyList. AnyList is without a doubt the best grocery management app. You can have multiple lists, which stands for stores, and inside each list, you can separate things by categories like dairy or household and cleaning. It keeps a history of all your items. This way it can quickly auto-populate. Not only that, but there's a whole meal planning section on a calendar, and you can actually add recipes to this meal plan. Then when it's time to actually add ingredients to your grocery list from a recipe that you've input, you'll see all the ingredients right here. You can add them all or individually to the grocery list and automatically to the store that coincides with these items. You could share lists with multiple people. This way you can both collaborate on it by hitting share here. And a newer feature that they've just added, if you want to do an Instacart or other grocery delivery order, you can actually take all of the items, do share to Instacart, this menu comes up and it will actually go item by item, searching Instacart for each item specifically. And I can add it to my Instacart order right here from any list. Once I choose an item, I can go to the next. And this is so much faster than trying to have your grocery list over here and then going to the other app, Instacart, adding each item individually. I can add it all quickly right here in the AnyList app. Super cool. And AnyList is cross-platform, plus you can just manage your list right here in a web browser. Number four, you need a good note-taking app. Whether it's just ideas or personal things you want to jot down, or you're taking meeting notes for your work, I would suggest putting everything in one place. This way you know when you search that one app for anything that you took a note on, it'll come up. That's why I use Bear for all my notes. Bear is an incredible application that stores all of my notes across everything from personal to work. I actually write all my podcast show notes in Bear as well. Sometimes it's HTML, sometimes it's Markdown. And one of the best features of Bear is when I select text here in the note, I can actually choose to copy it in different formats. I can tap copy as, and then I can choose to copy this text as markdown, HTML, or plain text right here from the bare note. Not only that, but it has nice word count and character counts. And then I can actually export this whole note to a PDF styled very nicely. Multiple themes are available, both color and style themes. Absolutely love bare. If you want to just use a free app, the built-in notes app from Apple is actually incredibly powerful. And there's new updates coming in iOS 17 to the notes app specifically. If you want to learn more about those updates, check out my video above about iOS 17 and all the exciting features coming fall of 23. After notes, you need an incredible application to manage your calendars. Your built-in calendars app on your iPhone or Mac may do a good enough job, but I actually use Fantastical. I absolutely love Fantastical, not only for its design and features, but it also has incredible widgets. You can quickly add events and it does a great job at natural language input, just putting the days, times, people you're inviting. A great feature I love about Fantastical 2 is you can choose to hide an event if you want and it doesn't delete it. So it doesn't tell people that you've declined a meeting or that you've taken it off your calendar, but you can just hide it from your view. Also, I love this view with the month on top and the events of the day down below, just one day. Plus I even get the little weather right here. 
Love it. Another incredible tool of Fantastic Cal is you can actually create calendar sets. Here I actually have main calendars that has all my active calendars, a work mode that just shows me events that have to do with work, and even a weekend mode that just shows me family related events. That can change via focus mode with focus filters. And I also love the widgets that Fantastic Cal offers. This is one of my favorites. It gives you the month view and highlights today's date. Plus gives you your upcoming events right here on the right side. Fantastical is also available for all your devices and the Mac. Highly recommend you check it out. All right, this next one are for your smart home and HomeKit users. If you have a lot of HomeKit devices like me, keeping track of the codes can be a challenge. That's why I highly recommend HomePass. Here you can save all of your HomeKit devices and the codes. I can go into any of my devices separated by rooms. I see information about this device and it saves the HomeKit code right here. If I need to reset a device and maybe rescan the code, I can also just show the QR code for this device on here. And the great part is it also works with the Apple Watch, so you can actually have the codes here on your Apple Watch and scan them on your iPhone. You can back up all your HomeKit codes to a PDF file and then save that in your iCloud drive or somewhere safe. Love HomePass for smart home devices. This next one is for any web developers, graphic designers, or people who work with color and brand palettes often. Pastel is an incredible application that you can save multiple collections of colors. Here I have my Movies on the Side podcast branding, and I can save my brand colors here in the app. I have the hex code for each color, but then I can also copy the RGB value, copy the hex value to my clipboard, and a bunch of other options. Plus it syncs with all your other devices, and on the Mac app I can drag an image or a screenshot here into the Pastel app. It will automatically identify the different colors of the image I just dropped. I can import it, and then I can right click any of these colors and copy the value I need. Great for using in graphic design and web development. Right, this next one may feel a little boring, but I highly recommend you organize your life in the Files app. The Files app is available on your iPhone and iPad, and of course the Finder on your Mac. All your folders can be syncing. You can access your files right here on your mobile device that are back on your Mac on desktop or documents folder. But one of the best features of the Files app is you can actually scan a document and save it as a PDF right here in the Files app, and then it will sync to your iCloud automatically. I can tap Scan Documents. And then I can scan a piece of paper. It will automatically create a PDF file. I can scan multiple pages if I need. And it automatically created a PDF document right here in my iCloud drive. Put it over on my desktop and I'll have a PDF of that document. Great way to use the iPhone camera to make PDFs out of any paper documents you might have. All right, the last two apps have to do with tasks and project management. The built-in reminders app on your phone is actually really great. Updates coming in iOS 17 that make it even better. But personally, I use the Things app for all my to-dos. Things is beautifully designed, and I love how things show me today's events here at the top, and then any tasks I have down at the bottom. I can quickly create a task, set a due date and reminder, then I can quickly add this task to a specific area or project. Things also supports markdown now. I can actually put asterisks and then more information here in the note, and this will actually format as a list. You can add different subtasks as well, and everything stays beautifully organized here in the Things app. Things also has beautiful widgets you can put on your home screen, different sizes, showing the next to-dos. And of course, it's available across all platforms, your iPad and your Macs. This way you can manage your tasks across all the different devices. Now, a quick honorable mention, I do think Reminders is an incredible app. They've added tons of features in recent years. You can also separate these by areas and then projects, subtasks, and sublists. It's great for repeating tasks, and I actually use both of these apps in tandem. I use things for my work projects and tasks, and then I use reminders for more personal reminders, like taking out the trash or cleaning the pool. If you'd like to see a whole video on how I manage my tasks specifically using things and reminders in tandem, let me know in the comments. I'd love to make that video too. And finally, number 10, Trello is a great app and a free service that you can use to manage your personal projects. This is actually where I manage all of my video projects, both long form and short form video. I can see all the videos I've posted and videos I'm planning to do. And here's actually this video right here. I listed the apps here in the note of this task. And I even have a separate board for my short form video, any shorts or reels I'm planning to do. I can organize that here in Trello as well. Again, Trello is free for personal use. You can use it on your iPhone and you can access Trello on the web. Great application for project management. So those are 10 apps I use to organize my life. What apps do you use? Do you have some favorites for productivity or entertainment? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to do a follow up video sharing the apps that you use. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Lots of iOS 17 videos already there showing you the updates coming to iPhone and iPad, and some great tech reviews are coming up soon as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.